All right, hi, my name is uh, François Pellin. I'm uh, the uh, executive director for development in the Ubisoft Quebec studio. So when it comes to Quebec, what games have you guys worked on in the past? Well, here's the thing, like when I'm, th when I'm talking about Quebec City, um, you know, I, I like to refer as a studio that's been there for the last nine years. Uh, so it's a studio that's been growing into working into uh, AAA games in collaboration with Montreal, most, for most of them. Uh, working on uh, AC2, uh, Brotherhood, uh, Reve uh, Revelation, AC3, and just lately on uh, on Black Flag. Um, so there's a big part of the studio that's been working on, like I said, in AAA games. There's another part of the studio that's been working uh, for the past few years, ga uh, games like um, MM Doc, so Mind and, Mind and Magic Duel of Champion, for example. It's a free-to-play card game. Uh, on Steam, on iOS, iPad, and on, on all those things. Um, so that we have that expertise as well. And if you play the Black Flag uh, uh, game, you might have to try it as well with the, the companion game. And this is something that we've done as well. And so think of the companion game for, for Black Flag, but as well Watch Dog that's going to release soon. Uh, we worked on the Division companion game. So we have, over the past nine years now, kind of built up the foundation uh, of, of the studio. Uh, on different on different uh, type of projects. Moving forward, will the studio be and uh, will develop games from scratch versus helping other studios? Well, that's the thing. So we've announced a few months ago that uh, the Quebec studio is now going to take the leadership on a big AAA game. Um, still not announced. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll do that in a few months, hopefully. Um, but now the, the team is kind of ready for that, you know. So this is something like I was in Ubisoft in Montreal for years, uh, working on AC3 and uh, Splinter Cell before. And uh, when I uh, when I started to talk with the, the Quebec studio, like that's that's something that really attracted me, saying. So looking at those guys, working, uh, looking at those those teams that have that experience, that have that talent, um, but they're super, super passionate about having a big game, you know. And so that's the next things for us. When it comes to Quebec City, what are some similarities between that game development hub versus what you guys saw in Montreal? Well, when you think of the Montreal studio, we think of a massive studio. There's there's 2,000 plus people there, so working on different games, different. AAA games, very successful in the, in, in the past and the future, um, where the Quebec studio is a smaller studio. It's a 300, 300 people, uh, 350. Um, you know, when we think of small studio, it's not literally, it's not that small. You know, 350 is a pretty large studio, but compared to, to Montreal, it's not. Um, so you have that kind of mentality of a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a true family. You know, it's like I said, it's been there for nine years. So uh, people know each other a lot. They everyone knows uh, everyone in the studio. So the the the, the kind of the, the the family aspect is a lot more present there. People trust a lot, trust the people uh, around their team a lot uh, in that studio. So uh, is it that different? No, it's not that different. It's, it's you know it's the same culture. It's the same same ambition and all. Um, you know, the Quebec studio has that, you know, s smaller aspect uh, compared to big studios like Montreal, but it's the same idea. How has your experience as a studio working on the AAA console games helped with creating these companion video game apps? Well, um, the companion gaming is something that, you know, I, I don't know if you played on Black Flag, but this is something I'm doing my second walk through Black Flag now, um, and I'm playing 100% with, with the iPad. Uh, and that's something, like when you think of that, is, is not just something it's nice to have, it's, it's something when you get used to it, it's really, really, it's a necessity. You really need to have your iPad with you because it's great to have, to have that information that otherwise needs to have a few clicks to, to get. Um, so there's something where we, when we talk about the companion, we think of, of uh, what are the features that are in the game that we can we can put in mobile. You know, so uh, it's really an extension of the experience that you have in the HD. So is it going to break your or do a different kind of experience on the HD? No, but it's going to improve it if you have it on the iPad. How are you pushing things forward when it comes to mobile with Watch Dogs? On mo well, I cannot disclose too much about uh, about that, but you've seen that the E3 last year. Uh, we're playing a lot with uh, having the uh, uh, kind of a another person. Uh, you know, it's it's literally uh, you have a you have an experience. You have a player experience working with the iPad and with the companion. So it's um, it's it's it has not just a. a um, an extra additional uh, information to it. It's more like there's a lot of gameplay into it, and so uh, that's something that we were super enthusiastic in, in in working in the future and improving and having a lot more to it. 
uh, giving a lot more to the players to what we've done over the past uh, past few years. But this is this is a first step. You know, we're 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 growing and we're we're uh, we're getting uh, into a, a very very deep experience.